Hey everyone, um, this is the watch list video for Monday, September 9th. I always start off with the daily chart of the SPY, as you know. Um, pretty ugly day. I talked about this day back here being kind of rare in the range that it had. And you go back and look at all, all the candles, you see maybe one, two, maybe three, going all the way back to March. Well, now we've got four. I might have missed one in there. But anyway, kind of an ugly day. I think the NASDAQ was down 430-something, Dow down 410. Um, but it, the good thing is, the, the holiday week's over, summer's kind of, you know, officially, unofficially, sorry, winding down, and we should start seeing some more action, and, and this is going to bring action in and of itself, having kind of a nasty day. Um, so I'm confident that we're going to have several A-plus setups this week, and so let's make sure that we show up ready to work and watch our charts, and if you see something setting up A-plus, you post it, and I'll do the same. I'll be on the mic as well. Let me throw this over. Um, anyone that's new in chat, please pause the video and just read that great explanation of what we're all about. All right. So, um, let's go into the stock list that we're watching for Monday. Um, this is not a pretty chart, but Dollar General DG is pretty beaten up and actually had a strong day relative to the market on Friday. So this might give us a continuation of that bounce. Remember I'm a day trader. So we're looking for ways to make money just Monday between the bells, right? So we want to populate our charts with recent movers and stocks that are kind of anomalies and not just chopping sideways with no, nothing interesting about them, right? WHLR had a massive, another massive day um, closing at 1025. It's an in-play stock, but it's probably worth noting that in after hours, I think it, it went out at, uh, in the sevens, somewhere in the sevens. So it did sell off in after hours, um, but it's an in-play stock, recent mover. So I will have it on a chart. APDN, uh, MPOX play, right? And it seems to have found support the last couple days and it doesn't look like much, but if you go to intraday and you weren't there Friday, you can see it really had a nice move intraday. So um, if mon monkey pox plays come into, in, into a focus, um, this is kind of a decent looking chart for a possible another move. Um, NVIDIA, got to have this one on watch. Um, I don't have it on this chart. I should have the 200 day on there. You know what? Let me show you real quick. There, I just switched to my daily chart that has the 200 day on it, um, which is the reason I pointed that out or I'm posting this is because 89.12 is a 200 day and you go back here and this recent low was 90.69. So anywhere around 90 bucks, 89 bucks is a really interesting area to me. Um, because of it, it bounced so hard from here and you've got the 200 day. Um, I'm not suggesting it's going to get there on Monday, but this is certainly a huge area of interest for me to get long NVIDIA. So anyway, it goes on watch. INBS. You can see I had to switch back from the 200 day chart now because it sometimes it crunches all the uh, candles together so you can't really see anything. Um, so I took the 200 day off for this one. I invest big volume and trying to break out. And you could also argue, um, that was some great relative strength on an ugly day, right? So it goes on watch PRMW big rip on Thursday, quiet inside day on Friday, looking for a possible third day play there. UPST, another red day. So it just goes back on bounce watch and AFRM. These two tend to run together and their charts are pretty similar. Several red days in a row. Both of those go on bounce watch. If the market bounces, those two probably will. BIRK, I put on bounce watch, I don't know, a few days ago. And we've just got nothing but red day since. If you put a horizontal line where it closed, you do have some nice support in this area. Um, so it just stays on bounce watch. I haven't traded it since I've started watching it. Um, but one of these days we might get a nice bounce. And the same thing with coin. Um, goes right back on bounce watch again. And again, day traders, right? We're just looking for a snapback bounce setup. Same with Starbucks which also had a, a big pop back here and has come back down to the lows of that day. Also held the 20 day on Friday. So uh, any kind of market bounce, Starbucks might give a nice bounce too. KB, I can't type today, I can't, yeah, can't type today. KBR, um, several days in a row down and then down to some support here, right? So it could give a snapback bounce, really beaten up on Friday. And then GAP, which used to be G GPS, right? Um, the Gap stores, uh, they, they finally changed their name to Gap, which it should have been all along if you think about it, um, down to support, right? It's fallen pretty quickly to get down to where it bounced back in uh, August. 
So that one also goes on Balance Watch. And that's it. I'm going to be there in the pre-market on Monday. Hopefully some of you will join me, help me build a gap playlist as we always do and maybe catch some pre-market trades. I am very confident um, we're going to have some good setups this week though. All right. I'm done babbling. We'll see you in chat.